Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. So today's video is going to be part one of a three-part series trying on cute, trendy, summer pixie wigs. Now, of course, a pixie wig can go into fall, it can go into winter, you can wear it any time of year, but because we're smack dab in the dead of summer, I decided to do a, a lookbook, kind of. So the things that I look for in a pixie wig is human hair. I love pixie wigs that have long sideburns and long napes in the back for me to do this. I'm obsessed with doing that when I wear short wigs. And also a wig that gives me the versatility and length enough to recurl it or restyle it as I see fit. So to kick off this three part series, the wig that I'll be trying on today is this beautiful honey blonde wig. This is from It's a Wig. This wig is in the style Pin Curl 202. I got it in the color 3S slash Honey Gold. And this is from their 5G True HD Transparent Lace Collection. I am excited about this one because, of course, we love pin curls, we love pixie wigs, and we also love color. The wig, so the wig does come in multiple colors, but when I saw this Honey Blonde color on their website, I fell in love with it. However, when I took it out the package, this was not exactly what I was expecting. I thought it would be like this platinum ash blonde hair color. This is more of a caramel goldish color. So because it is called Honey Gold, I guess it is true to that name. The color in the back doesn't have like a really nice blend, which is, I don't know why wig companies have colored wigs. And there's like a color block at the bottom of two colors. Like that's not cute. I need y'all to like blend the colors in somehow or maybe do like a balayage in the back to have like a flawless blend of colors. But this looks scary. Like this from the back is giving me someone's auntie at the cookout, honey. And that is not what I was looking for from this wig. However, I do like the fact that this wig has looser curls in the front and tighter curls in the back the pin curls because of course our hair if it was cut in a pixie wig would be shorter in the back and longer at the top and the sides so I like that and one thing that I really liked about this wig is the fact that it does have transparent lace it does have a standard side part and it also does have longer sideburns on the left and right side of your face so the cap construction does not include any combs at all but it does have an adjustable strap in the back if you are a beginner, I think this wig will be perfect for you because of course it's already colored, it's already styled. All you will have to do is put it on your head and pretty much style it to your liking. I don't know what to expect. I have not tried this wig on yet. So I am about to, I'm about to see if I could do anything cute to it. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes and try this wig on. First of all, my head is big. This wig is not <laughs> big head friendly. So I'm sure, oh y'all, I'm sure this is not fitting on my head. This is a really small wig cap. I mean, you are able to barely stretch it, but I definitely would not recommend, I, oh my gosh, how does it look? The part is on your left hand side. How does she look? Can I wear her to the club or to dinner straight out of the package? Comment down below. All right, I'm about to open my eyes. Oh. This wig is giving me Golden Girls, honey. This wig is giving me <laughs> someone's auntie auntie, y'all. This, I, I, oh, I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. I do not know what to do either. This is scary. Very scary. I don't like the fact that it's so short back here. But I kind of like it from the side. That's kind of cute. It's kind of cute from the side. But because this is a different color from my hair, you know, I feel like my hair is peeking through. I'm about to turn around for you to see it. Is my hair showing through the back? How does the back look? I'm gonna do a full 360 for you to see and please excuse this lighting I mean every time I choose to record a video the sun has to be playing how to seek I don't have time for that yeah this is scarier than I would have ever expected it to be this is first of all I think it's the color the color is just definitely throwing me off this is giving me yellow the color on the picture looks totally different from what this is on my head like clearly this is Platinum ash and this is giving me something else. 
It probably would look better in a black color or something much darker for sure. So of course I can't see the parting on the side. I'm gonna have to put like some colored foundation here so that it can look like my scalp. I guess I'm going to put some water in it and try to like finger comb through these curls because I don't exactly know <laughs> what is going on here. Let me use my little brush. This is giving me Halloween though, for sure. <laughs> and then because the wig cap is so small, it's not fitting on my whole head. <sighs> Let me try to work some magic and I will come back and show you what I came up with. Dare I say it, I actually like this wig. Now, I still don't like the color. Don't get me wrong. The color is definitely throwing me off still. I probably would never like the color. But if this was in black, I would be obsessed with it. I did not have to cut anything off of the sides of it. Literally, I don't know why the, <laughs> the sun is deciding to shine right now and making me look so washed out. All right, so the only thing that I did was basically put some concealer here just to darken the roots. Now, I can say... This is not HD transparent lace. I can say that for a fact. I would suggest if you want the parting space to look a little bit more natural to pluck some hairs from the parting space so that you can be able to see the part, honey. Because right now you can't see the part, but I ain't have time to do all that. So definitely pluck some hairs from the parting space. I did add some baby hairs right here and I did like finger, just finger shape the side of it so that it can look like, you know how... It can mold around my ear some. I did that and then I just basically ran my fingers through the pin curls and kind of just fluffed it out some. I also really like how the pin curls look when it's down like this. Like, <laughs> this is giving me 90s at the cookout, honey. Someone's grandma at the cookout, but it's cute though. Like if this was black and the cap size was much bigger, because it's still showing my little black kitchen naps in the back, if it was fitting me in black, I think this would be so cute. So cute. Or if it was actually the color of the stock card that I was expecting it to be, then it would be cute. And then, you know, if they had blended the back two colors a little bit, then it would actually be a cute little look. Do I look like an old lady? No. You remind me of, uh, how, as soon as I seen you, I thought about Baps. Holly Berry when she was on Baps. She had short hair? But it was that color. She ended up in a ponytail, but it was that color. So it was giving you 90s. Yeah, you know what I'm Serving them up, serving them up. Okay, so now that I had the wig on for a few minutes, I am starting to like it. It is definitely starting to grow on me. Let me know your comments down below in the comment section. What do you think about this wig? How do you feel about the color and the cut? How do you feel about the final style? Let's chat down below. If you're new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. I am working on part two and part three of this pixie cut wig series and i'll have that posted soon so make sure you guys look out for that and i can't wait to see you all in my next one bye guys okay so now i'm just going to comb through it see how it looks as like a mushroom type of hairstyle <laughs> okay here we go here we go I also do want to see pixie cut wigs come in one color instead of it being, you know, the two split colors. And if you do do the split colors, please let it be like a gradual effect. I don't like the color block. I feel like that's dated and it does age you when you have just that color block going on. I don't know why they would, who even came up with that? I don't know.
lipstick is also giving me T-Balls. So although I did feel like Gladys at first, this is giving me 90s T-Balls as well. I feel like it's how you style the wig and what you choose to do with it. Um, that determines the overall look and vibe of it. Obviously, you can get like a more mature look from it or you can get a trendy look or you can get like a um, throwback 90s, 80s type of look. It depends on how you style it overall. Let's see if I make it flat. Flat down onto my head. I have to spray with water probably. Ooh, I love it flat. This is, let me flatten this a little bit more. I might be coming up with something good. It's Bezozite. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezozite. 